Hi everybody, Andy here. Just wanted to show you this thing I've been tinkering around with. Um, this is an Amco 4100 brake lathe. It's this kind that's in most everybody's shop. You've all seen it before. <clears throat> what I did with this one was I equipped it with a, a power feed like you would find in industrial equipment like a mill. Uh, for like a bridge port machining platform. It, it goes in both directions. It has power feed in both directions with a variable speed control. It's a reliable package. It's industrial grade. Um, these parts are available from a lot of different sources. Um, mounting on here is kind of a pain in the butt, but when it's done, it actually makes for a really really fast machine. I can make the first cut as fast as anybody and I can make a second cut a lot sooner because I have this button over here for a high speed return and I can scoot right in. I've got limit switch mounted over here so if you run it in too far it won't hurt anything. If it runs off the end this way it just stops screwing out and everything's fine. So it's pretty hard to break and these are really really reliable units now let me show you how this thing works as always we mount this up so that our our blades are on the are coming off the rotor at pretty much the exact same time we've already adjusted the belt speed to the slower speed because this is a pretty large rotor so normally this rotor would take a long time to cut and it's a pretty difficult rotor to cut. With this setup, it's just too easy. The red on here is just uh, dicum so that you could so that the cut will appear nicer in the video. You don't need this to actually do nice cuts like this. So let's get rolling here. I want to do a finish cut so I turn the speed down to like one. Adjust my cut depth to like three. <coughs> and off we go. With practice, the power feed is going to save so much time. And especially for us older guys that have jacked up wrists, not cranking that handle in all the time is like the best thing that ever happened to me. This machine is both fast and easy. Two of my favorite things. These are really nice cut because the cutter head and carriage is actually more solid on this than on the standard unit. So it leads, leads to a really consistently nice, beautiful cut. And that it does it just faster and better than everything else. Well, that's why we do special stuff. So far this has worked out and it's exceeded all of my expectations. It goes slow enough, it goes too fast if I want it to. Um, the more practice I get using this gearbox, the, the quality is not going to improve, but uh, my efficiency is just going to get better and better with this machine. And the cut is awesome. It's like, there's no such thing as feel-a-vision, but that is a really nice cut. Like, that goes on a car, it's gonna break in the pads beautifully. That's, that's the kind of cut you want. And notice that it's consistent start to finish on the cut. That's because the 
cutter head in the crossfeed carriage is more stable than it was before. This is a significant improvement in in its ability to cut without having chatter issues, um, which is a whole other subject. But this setup here saves a lot of grief and it's going to save a lot of time for anybody who wants to, you know, step up to that level of stuff. I like it a lot. I'm pretty impressed with the way it cuts. Thank you for your time. This is Andy, the VW guy. Take it easy, gents.